Hello and welcome back to Victoria 3, our Ireland run. In this episode, we are continuing to work on our play to conquer Haiti. Um, so far, we've, it's going to turn out to be a pretty big international war. We have Ireland, who is now the third most powerful country in the world, Spain and Prussia lined up against France and Haiti, but with the opportunity that the United States is leaning toward Haiti. Um, I did offer them the opportunity to humiliate France. We'll see if they jump at that. Back on the home front, um, we are having a shortage of telephones. And I don't think I have the technology to build those yet. Yeah, no one does. Um, so let's let's take a look. I don't think we even can build electronics factories yet. Yeah, we're still behind there. So let's look at what buildings are using those. I'm guessing it might be my government administration. Yeah, let's let's go with this one. Do need more government administration though. So I'm going to build that as quick as I can. All right, so the U.S. sided with us. Good, not that I'm really afraid there, but better to have them as a friend than an enemy if we have to pick one side or the other. And I don't think I've mobilized any armies yet. I will just mobilize my big army uh, in the North CHQ. Gladly take a trade agreement with the U.S., and then my navies as well. No options for a invasion yet, but we'll wait as my army gets mobilized. I don't anticipate even needing to conscript, but I guess it wouldn't be bad to have. Let's just conscript the lowlands. Um, I know that's a, a less valuable place for us just to get some extra battalions in there. And Haiti backs down. So we now control the eastern part of uh, Haiti, Santo Domingo. I'm gonna start incorporating that. Um, we need another government administration there. There's not enough fabric. Let's see, not a ton of people here, but we do have some really good agricultural options. Uh, I know sugar has been one that's a big uh, challenge for us and no ports. The port's going to be very important. I'm actually going to move that up to first on my queue here. Make sure we get that moved up. And let's see what else. I thought I had some construction. Nope, must not have. Arming the natives. I'd rather go with a fight. I'll fight for the South Island. We've got almost all of it. Built another gold mine. It's great. Those are extremely useful for your minting. Um, though we're in a fantastic financial position. Our taxes are on the lowest. Um, I guess I should probably build some more administration while I have the time for it. Maybe some more universities. We can spend the money. And I'm actually going to spread these out so that they can um, boost qualifications of workers in different regions. Universities make it easier for workers to move between professions. So I want to be able to do that in all the different states um, so that my slots are all filled. And there we go. We've got another migration. Do have some turmoil. Um, we've already got taxes cut really low. Can support more declared interests. Where else? I already declared um, England because I want to start conquering that. Hmm. I'm not sure where to go. Maybe Southern Africa? Southern Africa might be good. An insubordinate jingoist. The only thing to do is invade Fang. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. So we've got war, but it's small. So I'm going to send my... Um, you know, we've got the Congo HQ right there. So let's send them out. 
All right, Irish Gabon is now a state. A very small state, but a state. And how is this state doing? Still need more people. So hopefully we can get uh, some migration going there. War in the mud. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Go for the technology. And we finished colonizing West Micronesia. Now, what's this one here? A Cuban peasant revolt. We'll help them put that down if we have to. That's East Micronesia, West Micronesia. Let's get this incorporated. Should be quick. Um, hmm. I thought we had enough demand for oil here. And what are we short on? Ammunition and ironclads. Do I have a port? No, I don't have a port. I wonder how that happened. I must have just never built one when I colonized here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get ports built in those two states. Raisin Expedition. Hmm. I'll let it slide. I don't feel like fighting the Americans right now. So it looks like we have conquered Fang. But they don't want to give up for some reason. Suffragists march. I think we should go down that path. And then workers. Somebody's going to be upset. Actually, I've got plenty of authority, so I will just take the middle road there and not upset anyone. So did unlock destroyers. Um, I think I'm going to go with nitrogen fixation. Growing our agricultural output would be really helpful. And even more declared interests. Did we lose one? Hmm. Maybe North India would be interesting. And then the Rhine. Um, I think maybe a, a limited intervention in the Benelux countries could be beneficial for us. More room to expand and probably some higher uh, population areas. I'm guessing. We've got some unproductive trade routes. And man, some trade automation, I think, would be really helpful in the next update. That's something I'm hoping to see. I'd like my merchants to just be able to see that importing this stuff from the British market is going to be very profitable and just go do it. And the same with exporting. I have a ton of green. Let's just export it. So let's look at our navy. Oh, actually, wrong tab here. Let's look at our navy. We can now upgrade to destroyers. Let's get these all up to trench infantry. All up to bicycle messengers. There we go. Destroyer warfare is completed. Hmm. Let's increase our Navy defense. And I saw we got more. Um, another migration event. Always good to have. All right, so we're below taxation capacity here. Definitely need um, more government administration. And then what's going on with our infrastructure? Oh, we can go to modern ports. There we go. That's That should do it. I wonder why I, when I unlocked that and forgot about it. Oh, 
I don't want to put them all on modern ports just because they're a little more expensive to maintain. But I am going to put some on modern ports. Looks like we could use some oil. And I don't know if I have any regions where I can build oil rigs, but whaling stations will provide oil. Some. So let's get those built out. I don't see a situation where I don't need coal. Who else? Holster is short. On infrastructure? How are they short on infrastructure? Hmm. I might just need to build more. Yeah, that's all. And more railways too. We have a hundred thousand peasants here. So we can keep building in there for a while. South Cameroon also needs more infrastructure. Wonder if oil is going to become a limiting factor for us. And who else? Did I already do Munster? Yeah, let's let's kick it up to a modern port. They're, they're getting there, but man, that's just a lot of infrastructure we need. Yep, we have a shortage of oil. I do have cargo prioritization on. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't need, I don't need the devout approval. I wonder if there's anywhere else worth colonizing that we've recently opened up. Let's hit these two. Let's get colonies started there. Um, Cape Colony. I'm not too worried about that. There we go. Get 100 prestige from uh, the, the Scramble for Africa. And while that is starting to colonize, let's get ports built right away so that we can get immigration and get goods in and out. This war is going on forever, and I, I don't know why. There's nowhere they can really fight. Um, I'm just making sure stuff is building here. Because we are really, really low on infrastructure there. How is Senegal doing? There we go. We annexed Fang. And hopefully, we'll find some oil at some point. So we finished colonizing here. I imagine that's just because Russia has the rest of it. I think this is where are Solomon Islands. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, so we have part and the Russians have part. We're hiring in our logging camps. Okay. Hiring in the port. I think that should take up most of our peasants. Let's build a coffee plantation there and see how immigration treats us. How's this colony looking? We do have a port. There will be oil. And this one has a port and nothing else. All right, Tahitians have launched an uprising. Do I have anyone mobilized already? No. So I will just send my um, army from Oceania there. And that should be a 
quick trip because they have just one army or one battalion there and I'm sending 11. More declared interests. We're up to 12 now. I wonder if that's because our navy is expanding slightly. North Africa seems like a good place. Red Butter Ballot. I'll actually just punish the Land League there. They're not my favorite party. And with that, let's look at our laws. I, I want to go to laissez-faire um, eventually. That'll be a quick war. Um, proportional taxation, graduated taxation. I would like that, um, but I don't think I really need to do more taxation right now. What I really want is to move to free trade. So which interest group supports it? The industrialists. I wanted to look at boosting the industrialists then. Is there anyone who I'm currently bolstering? I don't think so. Hmm. I'll maybe find another way to do it. We do have a ton of bureaucracy, so I should probably start working on uh, some institutions. And I did not realize that you could work on more than one institution at a time. I am just now realizing this. That would have been helpful to know. I thought you were you're limited to just one. So let's see, I think we've got a lot of stuff on um, our automatic expansion. Patagonia, we can now incorporate. That's going to be 21 years. I wonder if our university is built yet. They probably did because I don't see them in this queue. And still no opportunities for oil. Gold, we could build another gold mine. I will never complain about that. And how about rubber? Yes, yeah, Santo Domingo and Congo both have the opportunity for rubber. Land League? No. I want to stop the Land League. Yeah, I'll, I'll let um, Prussia cash in their obligation there. So who is the Netherlands friends with? Are the Netherlands also part of Ireland? They might be. But you know who really wants to be part of Ireland? Hmm. I, I could go with a Belgian obligation. I think that would be nice to have. Make sure this is on the most advanced one. We were short on munitions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the greener grass campaign. I just don't think we need it anymore. We have plenty of people there. And let's see here. Yeah, I'm just going to go with this maximum legitimacy government. Um, and then I'm going to use that authority to boost the industrialists. Oh, wrong one. Because I want them to get in power so we can start to push for um, free trade. And with our economy being kind of small but well-developed, exporting a lot 
um, can help us out. And all that money, I think that should be probably poured into the military at least a little bit. That's a lot of uh, new battalions for raising. And a lot of new flotillas too. So I should probably build some new shipyards. Maybe something in Santo Domingo just to... Uh... Oh, annex Tahiti, gladly. All right, Tahiti is now ours. I think, if I could find it. Aha, uh -huh. there's Tahiti. So let's see, we've got some decent um, population there. A little bit of devastation. Let's get another port up. Another whaling station. Let's auto-expand these logging camps. And auto expand our banana plantations there as well. So we're now up to 88 um, things in our construction queue. Most of those are barracks. And Austria just declared us their rival. We are now at war with radical Belgium and Austria. So who's mobilized? I'll send them to the Lombardy Perm front. Send my main army to this uh, Belgian front here. And if I could just punch through that front, I'd imagine we could shut down Radical Belgium pretty quick. And if the Austrians keep fighting for a while, that's not my problem. I guess it kind of is my problem because I'm still paying war upkeep. Up to 61%. Um, literacy now and almost 9 million loyalists are loyalists you know I think with minimum taxes and high wages uh, that's just making our um, loyalist and radical numbers really really positive so their navy is hitting some of our escorts So I'm going, or our convoys. So I'm going to start escorting some convoys. Let's raid some convoys too. And I think, yep, we've got torpedo boats. We are low on ammunition. I think that's something that would be worth uh, building a little more of. Yeah, look how uh, small our ammunition industry is. Make sure I have that set to auto expand. And same here. So the Senegal Western Sahara front is not defended. Doesn't sound like my problem. Where are my armies? Are they all over here now? Let's see. Yep. We have two armies over here. Fighting against the Austrians. And the, the Russians are not doing too good of a job of it. But at least they're taking casualties instead of me. We're going to have a bureaucratic shortfall, so let's get some uh, more government administration built while we can. All right, so Radical Belgium capitulated. 
Any states here with a lot of population? Not that I'm seeing. When you, I've noticed when I get later in the game, um, there are large unemployed populations as industries change, which aren't uh, featured on that screen. So you can see how many peasants there are, but not necessarily how many are unemployed. So we have a bunch of units in this North Sea HQ who are not assigned to a general. Let's promote this guy. Get him the most units we can. And our bureaucracy is just barely negative once we get those... Uh, government administrations built will be good there. Just slow it down. Uh, number one, make sure I'm auto expanding as needed. And then check on some of my um, infrastructure problems. Definitely not enough in lowlands. South Island can use more. I feel like I'm just always catching up on infrastructure here. It must just be how fast I'm developing and how much building I have going on in a few small states. I'm trying to think of other technologies that would increase uh, my infrastructure. Maybe the, uh, the other train technologies? Let's see if we can look at those. Yeah, so if we go to electric or diesel locomotives, that's going to help. Uh, maybe that'll be my next development after nitrogen fixation. Where is that one? Electric railways down here, I see. And telephone. We do. We could use some telephones. Did we finish that? Yeah, we must have. Oh, I must have clicked on it by accident. That's what happened. What are we lacking as an input good here? Sugar. I should be able to import that pretty easily. A lot of just bouncing back and forth and managing things right now. But what I'm really looking forward to getting to is conquering the rest of England. And we'll throw this on auto expand as well. Who else has bad market access? They just need a little bit of help. Yeah, this one already building out. I think that'll end up being okay. How's the war against Austria going? I lost a battle there. I ended up killing more troops, more of their troops than I lost. But Oh, it's all right. We've got a native uprising here. And I'll send one of my smaller armies to deal with it. I don't think I really need it. I don't need a much larger army. And this still have a very, very small population. Uh, only have 200 peasants available. So I'm gonna build one coal mine um, get those people employed, and then maybe if that starts to increase the standard of living there, it'll help for uh, getting some immigration. The Austrians are winning a lot of battles here. 
I just don't know if they could hold out for the rest of the war. Got some famous names here with Ferdinand Foch. Do you like how some of these historical commanders are thrown in around the right time? I don't know if that's always the case. I don't recognize any of these other names as much. So I don't know if they're uh, linked to the year or if it's just um, chance. And again, the Russians are getting trashed trying to attack that front. And I think we should win this colonial war pretty easily. We've got eight battalions, they have three, um, and we have much better technology. So I'm guessing our army should punch right through. Got rubber in West Borneo. And we have a thousand peasants here, so they'll they'll go to work in that coal mine once we get that up and running. Any chance for oil rigs? There we go. At least we get one building in eastern New Guinea. We'll need to get more oil rigs. Oh. We had a furniture workshop that wasn't on the best technology. And I'm trying to remember if there were any others. Urban centers, let's get all of these upgraded. And what else? Bureaucratic or trade? Just throw an airship mooring post on it. Hey, we're number one now. When did we become number one? Back that down to just regular military shipbuilding, not extensive. Um, combustion engines coming through soon. I think electric railways is going to be important. So now we have that better nitrogen fixation. I think oil is going to be what's limiting us there. But can we... Let's see, just looking for where we can improve these automatic irrigation. Yeah, let's go for it. Can make those all electric. We should be on steam trawlers, should be on steam powered whalers. Don't have refrigeration yet. Oil rigs. We don't have the technology for anything new there. Um, these farms there, we can go up to chemical fertilizers. And even though it says it's negative, um, I'm going to, ooh, maybe I'm not going to use all of them. That's a, that's a big negative. Oh, we could throw electric fences up. So that's definitely going to increase the demand for electricity. Get a few more power plants building which can somehow supply the entire world with electricity. All of my outlying islands are connected to my grid. So who are some big states that don't have much? I think Santo Domingo. Let's expand that furniture shop. Motor industries are going to become more important. Let's set that to auto expand if it's not already. Yeah, that needs to be auto expanding. And I think we'll be getting some um, improved technology pretty soon in the automotive space. Do we have rayon yet? Yeah. I'd imagine some of our luxury clothing is going to be using silk. Let's 
Let's take a look at it. Hmm. Yeah, it is using silk. Interesting. So we just burned through a ton of that um, surplus we had, number one being at war, but we also expanded our uh, military quite a bit. All right, combustion engine unlocked. Completed colonizing the South Island. Austria's damaging relations, which we're already at war with them, so go ahead, I guess. Yeah, their uh, standard of living is secure. We have good infrastructure. Can build another gold mine. All right. They're willing to be annexed. Gladly. One less war I'm fighting in here. And we'll incorporate that. It's going to be 21 years. But what are you going to do? And we have uh, 15,000 peasants here. I think I'm going to build one of each so I can set them to auto expand. Same with this coal mine. And how is this one looking? Has any territory changed hands? A join just as we're winning an attack? Looks good. I want to move up to uh, motorized reconnaissance, but we'll need lots of uh, cars for that. Automobiles, I think is what they're called in game. And I just don't have enough. Um, so once we get those, then I, I can start to add the, that uh, motorized reconnaissance. And as far as I know, let's look at it. I don't want to change while we're at war, because um, then you have that changed weapons uh, penalty. But if we go with motorized reconnaissance, yeah. Offense, defense, and more provinces captured. So that'll be a big help. And let's send this other guy from Congo. Um... Just the Eastern New Guinea front. We'll have enough troops there to uh, win that pretty quickly once, once that kicks off. And I'd love if this war with Austria just ended. So that we can get back to the real business of destroying the British Empire. Do a promotion. Yeah. We can promote him. Standard of living is now up to 20.5. wonder if there are any items that are too expensive. 13.2 is not great. Clothing. Clothing, porcelain. There we go. Now we've got... Oh, we've got siege artillery as well. I like that. So we've got one state that has a clothing industry. Um, let's throw some clothing industry in the South Island. I'm trying to spread out my industry a little bit now because we are short on infrastructure in a lot of places. And also once we get... Um, some different uh, industries popping up in different places that'll raise the standard of living in those places too as wages go up. Set this to auto expand. Still no places I can build oil rigs. Do I have Western Australia? I completely forgot I owned this province. Nice. 
Always good to find gold mines you forgot about. So how does this front look? The Russians are winning now. I think the Austrians are getting worn out. And, um, I think. And they're facing a lot of armies against them. Could just be a numbers thing on that one, honestly. And we should conquer this pretty quickly. There's no resistance on this front or on this front. I don't think they have enough uh, military power to stand up to us. Battles flipping back and forth here. We're outnumbered. But I think we'll take it. Um, our military is just that much better. And once we win this, we can then annex the rest of that. It's kind of a, a nice shortcut to colonization. You don't have to wait for the whole thing to play out. You just get that chunk of land. Got some peasants who are unemployed here, so I'm just going to build a logging camp. Get them employed, get them producing something. And speaking of unemployed, we have a lot in Leinster. Do I have motor plants here? I'm going to build another one in Leinster. I know it's better to keep your stuff concentrated. But just given what our need for engines is going to be, we've got to build as many as we can. That's what's going to fuel our industry going forward. So we're getting close to balancing out our budget here. We, we had plenty of reserves. So there we go. War with Austria is over. And we annexed Papua. Good. So we've got that territory now fully ours. Let's auto expand this. Expand our oil rigs all the way. Let's get some sugar going. I know sugar is one that... Um, We've been a little short on. Set all this stuff to auto expand. And look at that. We're nicely just a little bit positive. You can call up 200 battalions uh, of regulars and 285 of um, maximum of negative 80 potential regulars. Interesting. So we can call up 286 uh, conscripts as well. Should I expand? I kind of feel like I should. No reason not to. And just some of these ones where we've got bigger populations. Just build a few battalions there no harm in it so now for the real reason we're here to destroy England I think um, do I want Lancashire or Yorkshire first who's got oil rigs Looks like Lancashire. You win. We're going to conquer Lancashire. Looking at their allies. And then real quickly, let's look at... Um, my country's diplomatic reputation. Infamy is reputable. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see, they're embargoing us, that's fine. 
Do we mobilize? Let's get some mobilization going. Chili wants a trade agreement, and they'll get one. Who else can we mobilize? Let's get a general for the Caribbean. I will just defend this front. I'm not going to attack on it. Um, and let's mobilize this other one too. And we'll just push straight down. Straight down from the north. They won't stand a chance. Looks like the Russians are our only friends here. Let's offer a treaty port in the West Indies. And they backed down already. Wow. All right. Lancashire, congratulations. You're now part of Ireland. They've got some peasants here we can use. Let's get all of these built. And, oh, that's right. We have combustion engines now, too. Good, we inherited some motor industries, all good stuff. Now, the last thing we to do here is set up our military to be ready for the next fight. And then set, um, let's see, still don't want to do that. But we can set um, our oil rigs to all combustion, and that'll increase production a little bit. All right, so in this episode, we won a couple wars, conquered Haiti, conquered Lancashire. And in the next episode, we will continue pushing into the British Republic and making it rightfully part of Ireland as it should be. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and have a good one.